go to Corsair.com. I'll have this link in the description below. Here, click on download for Windows and your installation wizard will download. Once the download is complete, just click on open file. Click on I accept the agreement. Click next. And this is where your cursor will be installed. If you don't have 447.9 MB, just click on browser and choose any other location. Click on next again. In your case, you will not be asked this. I'm being asked this because I already had cursor installed. Click next. Here, keep these two selected and click on next. Click install and finally your cursor is being installed. Once the installation is complete, this launch cursor will be checked by default. Just click on finish and your cursor AI code editor will open up. Now let's create your first project and let's get started with wipe coding. Click on file, click on open folder and let's create a new folder. You can create it anywhere you want. I'll just create it inside D drive and let's just call this folder my website. Okay, click on select folder and now your project is open here. As you can see, there are no files right here. It is empty. Now here on the right hand side, you can see this new chat. Now here you can see agent or ask or manual. So what you can do is if you want cursor to automatically code for you, create files, change files, you can just click on agent. But if you just want suggestions on what to do and what to change, you can click on ask. But since we are doing vibe coding and we want agent to do everything, I'll just click on agent and let's say I want to create a portfolio website for my projects and my showcase. So what we can do is write a prompt like this, create a portfolio website. So let's say we want a hair section, right? And then let's say we want projects showcase. And after that, let's say we want testimonials. And finally, let's say we want contact. All right, contact us form. All right, so basically let's just give it this much info and let's see what it creates and then we can fine tune it as we want later on. So your auto is selected. All right, this means that your model will be auto selected and let's just send this and let's see what it creates. So here you can see that it is creating index.html and after this is done, this file will be automatically created and it will be shown here on the left hand side. As you can see, index.html is created. Now you can accept the file or reject the file. So you can just overview it and I'll just click on accept the file. And now it's creating CSS file to add some styles to our website. So as you can see, CSS is also created and I'll click on review next file and this is being reviewed. So you can just click on accept file. Now, if it creates multiple files, like uh, let's say if it creates 10 or more file, you can just leave it and it'll do its work. And when you come back, you can just click on accept all files. So right now it has also created script.js, readme.md, and I've not clicked on any except for these two files, right? So, but these two files are created anyway. Here, as you can see, you can browse the files one by one, and you can also see the files here. These two files are already accepted. And in these two files, you can see this accept button here. You can just click this and these two files will also be accepted. Now that our whole project is ready, let's not go into the code here and let's see if this works or not. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my index.html here. Now I'll right click on this and go to reveal file in Explorer and our project folder is open here. I can just double click on it index.html and as you can see, the project is already created. Now it has some issues with the image, right? The image is not added. So what you can do is you can add some images here. You can download some images and go back to here. And let's actually do this and let's see how well it does it. So I'll just strike images and let's, let's download this one. Let's download this. And finally, let's download this. Now I'll go to my downloads folder, copy this move this from here to our project folder. Let's create a new folder and call it images. And I'll paste all these three files here. And now we have three images here, right? Now let's give this a prompt and tell it to use those images in my project section. Okay, so let's see how well it does it. So my project section is in this index or HTML or uh, let's not even define that. I'll just say I've added an images folder include the three images in that folder 
as images in projects. Let's just say this much and let's see if it can actually do this or not. So as you can see, it listed three item images and now it will show you the change. So this was the original thing that is in red. So this red means that this was the old one and this green line means this is a new line. So what you can do is you can accept one by one or just click on accept file and all these things will be auto changed. Now let's go back to our portfolio and reload this. And as you can see, the images are shown here. So basically, if you want to create basic things like basic websites, that is not business logic heavy, you can easily create those things with Cursor AI. Now, the only issues that I have seen with this is when the logic is a bit confusing, when the business logic is a bit confusing. Otherwise, if you are just creating simple websites or simple apps, this makes it very quick. So this is how you can install Cursor AI and get started with it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.